mean, she's been through a lot, but still, sometimes she can be a little too whiny. So Ryudo is actually kind of nice. He doesn't he doesn't pressure her and push her forward as much as he would like to. I'm pretty sure that he didn't want to skip out. I mean, I'm pretty sure he didn't want to camp out here, so... So he does have a heart, but he doesn't like showing it. So what happened at the tower? Ready to talk about it yet? Because, you know, nobody else will. I do not remember much. It was... I believe it was a ceremony of sealing. I was to sing. I began my songs. My sisters moved to restore the seal. And then... What about the wings? I love the music here. Forgive me. I do not wish to remember. Ugh. Uh-huh. That would make sense, I guess. We're missing something here. You must be able to remember. Or did the clouds of incense fog your memory? Do you assume... Hey, I'm not presuming to know what goes on behind closed doors, sister. I'm just saying you were there. Bah, hopeless! You do not understand. Well, because I'm not sophisticated enough? Because I don't fall all over myself to be the first in line at the temple doors? Now you mock me. No, I've been mocking you for the last half hour. A little slow to notice, aren't we? <laughs> Why do you persist in vexing me? Do you bait me to watch me suffer? Do you take pleasure in my pain? Nice choice, choice of words there, princess. Please, I do not need your grief, as I have much of my own. I'm s- Oh, he was gonna apologize, wasn't he? Aw, but he covered it up. <laughs> oh well. Is that what you think? Forget it. Get to sleep. We've got a ways ahead of us in the morning. So I guess she's going to bed. Hey! Leave some space for me! Uh oh. I hope you're joking. <laughs> I guess they ain't, though. Oh well. I guess she's not sleeping in a tent now. Never mind. I will sleep outside the tent. Didn't mean it that way. Aw. He's, he's trying to make her feel better, but then he mocks her. Hope you like sleeping on rocks. <gasps> and then she goes on her way. Behind the tent, I suppose. Yes. And that's where she's going to be sleeping for the night. Suit yourself. Poor Ryudo. He does have a heart. He just doesn't like showing it because of the whole Geohelm thing and he doesn't want nobody to know. So she's finally asleep. Well, I don't know. He's a little weird. What about you, lover boy? You going to sleep? <laughs> oh, Sky. I can't. I keep seeing Elena surrounded by darkness in the tower. Nightmares, man. Don't think about it. Nothing you do, n nothing you can do now. And I pissed her off, man. She's so perky and happy. Now she hates me. You saw her. It can't be helped. You know how the church feels about us working types. Because they're so lazy and stupid. But I guess she has been sheltered her whole life. She's never seen the world outside her window. And then to have her friends die on her like that? And I couldn't save them. Aw, so he really is hurt inside because he could not do anything to protect her friends at all. Compassion, Ryudo. A little late for that. Your words would sound far better had they had been spoken sooner. Sometimes, all I can... I didn't want... She was to be kept from harm. Yet even now she suffers, and I cannot bear to see it. It is my duty to protect her. Mincing your words again, Ryudo. Badly. You know as well as, as I that what you feel has less to do with duty than with... With what, Sky? With concern? With sentiment? That's... not me. Still, I've never felt... Bah! Good night, Sky. Sweet dreams, Ryudo. So he's tearing himself inside. He really doesn't want to treat Elena as he is, but in the end he really has to, I guess. To to protect his feelings of what happened in the past, I suppose. So she heard the entire thing. Aww. Well, at least, he understand, at least she understands Ryudo a little better. Now, you'll be hearing that little fanfare a lot after when you're done eating and stuff in this game, just to show, hey, you have recovered completely. So don't worry too much if you don't know if you've recovered or not during those things. Good morning.
morning, Rito. Are you awake? Cut it out, Elena. It's too early. Well, I guess it's time to move on. Up until now. What is it? I'm so sorry. I misjudged you, Ryudo. I took you for another detestable Geo Hound. Oh. <laughs> Sky, I misjudged you as well. Please forgive me. What snuck into your sleeping bag? I, I am a detestable Geo Hound. You know, grr, fight! <laughs> I will pull out your intestines and wrap them around your neck, sort of thing. Anyway, Ryudo, please help me get to Granis Cathedral. And you too, Sky. God, now she's all bubbly. That's that's really creepy and awkward. Anyway, we're gonna press on. And we're gonna go this way. Now, here is the gimmick in these dungeons. Like, there was a gimmick in every dungeon in the first one. Well, there's a gimmick in everything now. So, and also, again, there's items to be had. But I will do this in my own time. So, don't worry about it. I'm trying to get through this as close to as quickly as possible. I might pull this off in the future Grandi episodes too, in case of you guys were wondering. And we're gonna get 150Gs here, move on, but for those who are trying to use this as a walkthrough, I'm gonna apologize in advance for not showing everything. And I don't know what's in there. It's fine. Nothing. Eh, for my future reference, I suppose. Well, Elena gained a level on that, which is nice, and I don't know why all these things are attacking Elena. It's ridiculous. And uh, I did it this one this one. What the heck am I supposed to call her? Oh, yeah. You can get that by coming up here. And there should be a thing here. You do the action command by hitting the A button, and you'll see this keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It's mandatory to do this, but I believe it is, considering that the comms is telling us to go in that direction. So, without further ado, we will go and open this chest here, and we get nice stuff. Some revivals, a few things, a couple of monsters on this side of the road, and... Oh, you can go ahead and do this. I don't... Oh, maybe not. I know that there was a thing where it enabled you to prevent it from not falling, but I guess I'm wrong and I'm such a liar. Stop lying to the people, Sky. I'm not talking about the bird either. God. Speaking of Sky and the bird, I've seen Gun Angel's new video. I'm going the wrong way. And <laughs> I, after what I made that part too, I put it up and then I noticed that actually made the joke. Gun Angel does not get a cookie. Did I get that? Yes, I got this already. What the heck am I doing here? I went backwards! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, so then that wasn't mandatory. I'm gonna start cutting things out now because I'm turning into an idiot. And don't touch me. I don't need your sympathy here. Just go all the way down, I suppose. which is nice. I guess you still want us to go this way. Don't touch me, Birdie. I don't like you. And I know you don't like me. So get over it. And I just went in one big circle. Oh my god. And I guess we didn't... Oh, that's me. You know what? I don't know if I was able to block that or not. That's ridiculous. Making me go around. I guess. 
guess it's been demolished or something. Because, look at it, look at... I'm pretty sure they were houses. And I'm pretty sure that was a fountain in the center. So it looks like this thing had been carnaged. Probably from... I don't know. Maybe from that chick. Who knows? I mean, she tried to destroy the other town. Who knows? Ryudo. Is this a town or something? Not the kind you'd want to raise your kids in. Didn't used to be like this. Today I thought we could sleep in a regular room. I guess that's not gonna happen. Well, we're gonna have to make do. Anyway, let's find a place to bunk up. Alright, so next time on Grandia 2, we will actually continue on and settle down within this place. And I will see you guys in another episode. So